I'ma flex on my ex, flex on a hoe. You still be in my head, so I'ma let you know. I realize how much I want you when I let you What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number 14 of our Road to Glory. As we ended the last episode, I told you guys we'd be doing this first thing in the first episode. I got quite a few rewards here. Uh, we're just going to claim some stuff. I ended up, I got, this is from the Muhammad Salah uh, challenge. I got that done. And which one else did I get done real quick? I got, there it is, the assist king. I did that in one match. Just went in, got 13 assists just to make sure, and then got that and then left. So now we only have three more things to do. But most importantly, we finally, 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 finally can claim our Premier League Prime Players Pack. So excited. Let's confirm this real quick. Uh, we'll just rip it open in one second. Along with the other gold pack we just earned. What else do I have? Uh, we get this... We get this Tifu that I'm probably never going to use anyway. So we'll just send that to club. And I, I'm excited to open these packs. I know there's a good chance I'm not going to get anything good from them. Who cares? Six, six rares, 12 gold in the Premier League. I'm hoping I get one walkout. Ideally, I'd like to get a Aguero or a Firmino. Because there's... Well... Is this nothing because for me no special right now aguero is a great card uh any of the goalkeepers i'd be happy with any card that's in my squad right now that would that would be replaced i'd be happy with not much else to say let's just jump right on into the pack i'm hoping i get a walkout i'm gonna be just so disappointed because i've put so much hype into this pack as a walkout it is not a walkout <laughs> oh man we get a 82 one mata the banter from EA. I put so much stock into that pack being so good that I'm trying to get it. I mean, it's going to be nice for when we get the uh, Bundes or the Premier League SPC, but other than that, nothing else in there. So we currently have our Division Rivals rewards to be claimed. Uh, it's They just came out like literally two seconds ago. I did finish two, gold two, I think. Uh, we're going to take the option three, the untradeables, the 50 foot champ point. Uh, this might, don't tell me I got dropped to three. Okay, I did finish two this time. Thank God. Um, two gold players packs, a rare election players packs, and we get 50 foot champ points. But we are already qualified for this weekend, so that doesn't make a difference to us. I spent most of the day trying to complete this Ozeal. So we finished the assist players using maximum physical, whatever, all this. We'll just send this straight to club. Um, and then we'll redeem that pack. So all we have left is assist 10 goals in an online mystery ball matches and score a chip shot using Premier League players in two separate rivals matches. We need one more assist, which will be kind of easy. And then I think I'm going to get this done in this episode. I'm just going to play it offline and not show. Um, ten ass ten assist 10 goals in mystery ball. It should be two games, honestly. Uh, this is going to be kind of challenging, but we will work to get it. Uh, we do have, we have one day left, not a big deal. We almost have Zaha completed. Uh, I think I, I, I want to get him into the squad for this weekend league just to see how he is. I'm not sure how I would do that. He might replace Ericsson as like, and I might switch him and uh, Griezmann in game, but we'll see how that goes. So let's just start ripping through them. So we're going to open the prime gold players pack first. If I can, I just want one walkout. It's been a while since I've had a walkout. EA, come on. You know, you know, you know, this is something. I don't know what it is though because i don't know how to read boards spain mata no um i can't think of his name but luis alberto that's actually it's not awful that's not awful is there anything else hiding in this pack it's all untradeable so i mean it's going to be beneficial eventually just like those archers were uh nothing else hiding in the pack unfortunately we do get a duplicate mounier uh which is kind of frustrating one two two players for wait is he duplicate untradeable he is duplicate untradeable so see if this guy swaps they are both okay so can i just sort items later can i just do this for all my packs oh i can't do this for all my packs all right so we're gonna have to discard unfortunate because he is an 82 but it's not the end of the world so our next prime gold players pack can we get another board if i can get five boards out of five that'd be impressive but i really doubt that's what's gonna happen here this is another this is another one come on span again center back barcelona uh pk pk hey 88 pk uh why does the camera drop like this now what the hell that's weird pretty cool though i'm pretty happy with that um i mean anytime you get an 88 out of a pack 
that's pretty dope I'll be honest with you as we get a game clip recorded uh, I need to turn I need to I need to turn those off like but yeah PK pretty cool uh, I'm pretty happy with not gonna lie is there anything else in the pack hiding behind it let's see no there is not we do get a gill of Ogu, that's good all right sounds good to me so we're just gonna send that all to club and we have three packs left. That's that's funny. That's the second time we've packed a walkout Barcelona player that's untradeable in our rewards. This is nothing, so I'm just going to skip it because it doesn't matter to us. I wonder if that hints at a potential Argentinian. Oh, Vardy. At a potential Argentinian walkout we could potentially get from one of our rival rewards in the future. Uh, that'd be cool. Two packs left uh, after packing PK. I will not use PK, but he will be good for SBCs. Uh, but I feel like I can't really complain too much about whatever else we get. Uh, I just want to keep some boards going. This is another one. I don't know what this, honestly. Senegalese? Mane, please. No, Idris Gay. Oh, man. I really thought. For <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have this like really bad cough. I really thought for a second there it was going to be Mane. I just. Oh, I forgot I was a was an option. I'll be all another good one. Uh, Fellini. No one really cares about Fellini, so we're just gonna discard, and we'll send all that to the transfer. Or so we'll send all that to club. And with our last pack of this mini little pack opening, come on, what do we get? Can we get one? Can we end it on one more board, please? We do get one more board. This seems is this another walkout? I think it's a walkout. Italian, center back. Bar Q oh my god, it's not a walkout. I really need to figure out how, the, how to tell between walkouts or not. But we do get Robagnoli. Uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. We do not get a Scream card. Uh, I was really hoping we would. Holy shit. Two blues in one one pack. Uh, they are both rares, which is actually really solid. Nacho Fernandez and Samaras. That's pretty dope. Uh, we do get some silver German. Uh, pr uh, German. Oh, we only get one silver German player, which is nice as well because of the Bundesliga SBC and this is a SBC I would like to complete. So I'm really, really satisfied with that. So here's our squad after, or heading into Thursday tomorrow. Truthfully, I don't know where the upgrades are gonna come from. Uh, I do have 100K. I probably have another 50, probably 30K on, the, on my transfer list still. So I probably have about 140K to upgrade this team. I honestly don't know what I would do. I think that Davinson Sanchez is the first player that needs to be upgraded, but I don't know where I would upgrade. I could probably go for an Ederson or Allison instead of Pickford, because I just feel like De Gea is not good enough. Maybe after the patch, he might be better. I would love to get someone other than Felipe Anderson, but I just feel like the only option that's better than Felipe Anderson is probably Mane or Sané, and both of them are way too expensive for me right now, so that's not happening. That's kind of why I was hoping that I could get the Zaha before the weekend league, but even then, I don't know if that's the solution. So this is where I'm, I guess this is just where I'm gonna leave the squad for right now and just just see what happens. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go through and complete the complete just finish the last two things for OZL. So I just need ten assists in mystery ball. That should be pretty easy because every goal should be an assist, and I might be able to score ten in one game. And then we just need to get the last chip shot. So let's go through and let's try to complete that rope. So it's currently Thursday. We are one day away from weekend league, but EA went and did another madness. So they added a whole bunch of SPCs. So I just so obviously they added PK. This PK is actually insane. The defending and physical, whew, he's less than 100K. So you know we are completing PK. They also completed Scream Chong, or they also added Scream Chong, which I don't know if we'll complete, but we might just for fun. And they added marquee matchups. So I'm going to go through and complete all of these real quick and then just open all the packs for you guys. I don't want to accidentally submit a player that we've used for, other, for another SBC. So I'm just going to go through and show you guys these and just submit them real quick. Uh, these were all really easy. I used everything from my club except maybe like one or two different packs. Uh, not too bad. It was really easy. I love the marquee matchups this year, the way that EA are doing it. They're incorporating a lot of different players, a lot of different card levels, and it's really nice. Uh, we also do get some pretty decent packs, two sm small prime gold players packs. Uh, it's better than silver packs, truthfully. Okay, so here's one where I accidentally uh, submitted one that I shouldn't have. So we'll just do this guy here, and then we'll just find a random goalkeeper and see if it works. Let's see, what's he? You know what, just for the sake of time, I'm going to s spend two points here, complete that. As I said, all of these, except for like one or two players, have been completely sourced from the club. 
I actually am really enjoying taking the untradeable rewards and getting double the packs because they're really helping with these rewards. This one was kind of harder. I had to go out and buy a few players. Uh, I just bought pretty much a Serie A team and just submitted it or just completed it. So there are all the packs that we get from our key matchups. Now that's a good set of, that's a good set of packs, honestly. Uh, nothing too great, but I'm not gonna complain about free packs. So the next thing we're gonna go through is we're gonna go through and do these three, and then we'll show you guys all the packs for them. I just completed the costume party and the trick or treat SBC, and for the same reason, I don't want to submit or reuse players that I've already submitted or I've already put into these squads. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what packs I got right now, or which I guess what I threw in right now, just to show you guys like what we're selling. Uh, these both were really easy SBCs. Uh, costume party one was difficult. I was just having trouble with it because I couldn't think, and I made it more difficult than it had to be. But there's two more packs, and so now we just need to complete this PK. And finally, we have Scream PK completed. I'm really excited to try this card. In total, it came to just about 100,000 coins. I think. Footbin has it at 101,000 coins, and I don't think that they're up to date on all player prices because player prices are skyrocketing right now because of this SBC. A lot of the players I tried to buy were marked off as I think so. For example, Syracuse was listed as 2,000 coins, and his cheapest was 8.5, and I or his cheapest was nine, and I sniped him for 8.5. I mean, if you wait, this is probably a 100k SBC, but so be it. We're just gonna submit that. And then we're going to, oh, it's going to make us jump over. Come on. And then we're going to go through and do the Spain SBC. I am going to submit the PK we packed earlier in this episode. I am going to pack, uh, su submit Arthur. This one was about 56,000 coins. So PK saved us about probably 15K. Um, there we go. And now we have our own Scream PK. And we're going to get him, watch him walk out real quick. This is pretty exciting. Um, I think we are going to get messy this year, guys. 100%. I think we're going to pack a messy this year. We have PK. We have Griezmann. We have De Jong. I mean, we have Pep Guardiola. Like, now we're going to get Semedo because we just need him. Uh, like, what? Like, what luck? Uh, this card looks insane, honestly. I'm really excited to use it. And yeah, so let's just jump right on into our packs. So we have 10 packs here. Truthfully, I am going to accept nothing less than one walkout. And then one walkout and three boards is what I'd hope for. Uh, we're just gonna start off with a two players pack. By the way, I just watched Chew Boy's video on how to determine if it's a board or not. And this is not a board. Or no, sorry, to determine if it's a walkout or not. Because I'm tired of getting it wrong and getting my hopes up when it's wrong. <laughs> so I wanted to educate myself and try to figure out what to do or if and figure out how to tell so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna see if we can tell so let's just keep ripping through these packs this is seems like I don't think this is anything we're just gonna skip it anything that's not an obvious board or a walkout we're just gonna skip for the sake of time uh, anyone who is not a Bundesliga player shit Greg Orch come back Anyone who's not a Bundesliga player is going to be sent to the transfer list because I want to start working on the Bundesliga SBCs. So we're just going to keep ripping through these packs and just keep going and see what we get. Let's see. Oh, this is something. This is not a walkout. Serbian? Center mid? Lazio? Mil Milinkovic Savic. That's cool. He's like 10k right now. So that's some nice coins to make back. What else do we get in this pack? Uh, it doesn't look like anything else, but that's okay. Sillison might be a lot right now. Let's see. Sort through. Sherla. And there we go. So, not too bad. Um, that's one board down. I want two more and a walkout. Come on, EA. I haven't had a good walkout from a pack. Not that, that, that was tradable since for a while. So, this is nothing. So, we're just going to skip it. Let's see what we get. Uh, another Bundesliga player though. I'm not going to be mad as long as I keep getting these Bundesliga players. German 2, German 2, frustrating, but not the end of the world. I Just keep giving me Bundesligas. We'll, we'll eventually complete that SBC. We'll eventually get there and get that done. Come on, we got a, I think we're halfway through? Maybe we're halfway through at this point. This is nothing again, so we're just going to skip it one more time. Come on, I'm, I'm getting annoyed with these skips. I know these players are worth money, but like... Ooh, okay, Bauman's nice, Matic is something. 
Uh, Babel. Let's see. And we get two more. We get duplicate Bundesliga players. So that's frustrating. Not the kind of Bundesliga players we want. EI. Give us the untradeables. Halfway there. Five packs left. Two more boards. One more walkout away. Come on. I don't care if it's a goalkeeper walkout. Just give me one. This is... This is a blue, so it's Spanish, right wing, Suso? No, um, Lucas Vasquez, great. That's great, fantastic. That's, I guess that's a board, so one more board left, apparent, apparently. Um, and then no one else here is from Bundesliga. No, not a single Bundesliga player. Interesting, so four packs left. Come on, EA, come on. Come on, just keep, just provide, provide for me, please. Give, give the people something to watch. This is nothing again. Wow, so many packs, but not even a board. It's kind of getting frustrating here. Makes me, makes me glad that I'm not spending any FIFA points this year, because yikes, these packs are horrific, to say the least. Horrific. Three packs left. We still don't have a walkout. Come on. What is it going to take? What is it going to take? Nothing again. Wow, yay. They're really, they're really not wanting to help out here. All right, two packs. Come on. Two packs left. I, these are not good packs. These are not good packs. I can't imagine anything from these two. Disappointing. Yep, nothing. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We just keep getting Bundesliga players, but still nothing. Last pack of... Last pack for now. Come on. Come on, EA. Yeah, and wow. Just two boards, and not one and like one wasn't even a board. It's kind of frustrating, if I'm honest with you. Uh, we do get a Hudson Adoy, which is kind of cool, being that I am a Chelsea fan. But there we go. So that, that being said, we finished that. Uh, we are going to have to sell off some of our players from our club, which kind of bittersweet. So I think the way we're gonna do it is let's get our let's get the big man in here now. Where's he at? PK. There we go. So another way of PK. He's gonna replace Dobbins and Sanchez. We're gonna switch him to the right center back spot, and then I mean I guess Cancelo could probably no. We can't keep Cancelo there. I really like Cancelo, uh, but. There's no way that he can play that right back spot on like seven cam. And I'm not going to put PK at center back on seven cam. So that's that's what we're looking at now. Then. So we will put, we'll have De Jong, Griezmann, Dembele, uh, Guardiola, Tomato, and PK. So then these two will then be sold off. So I don't know what they're going for, but they're probably about 30k each. We'll list everything else up. And then I'm hoping... We might be able to snag a bail or something for this weekend league now because we, this position can be freed up. So I'm not quite sure what the deal is. Um, maybe a Sané and then we can swap him in game. I don't know. We're going to see what we get to. But, and I also want to complete that Ozio. We only need one chip shot left and then we have him completed. Ladies and gentlemen, do I have something for you. Thank the Lord after not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. Not six, not seven, maybe eight games. We finally complete the Ozil Chip Challenge. So you know what that means. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Scream Ozil. I am thrilled. Ozil has always been one of my favorite players in FIFA. Um, or o o favorite players in general. I just love Ozil. Uh, the way you put... Not, not, come on, you're, you're going to disrespect him and not give us a, give us a board. He's always been one of my favorite players. Um, such a good person, such a like a great player. That goal in the Europa League, that that just such a beautiful goal. Um, this is one of the challenges we have with three squad L's, and da, 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 I'll probably complete this later tonight, maybe, because that uh, that celebration is actually kind of cool to have, and it's free, so doesn't really matter that much. Uh, I'm just gonna probably try to grind some more uh, challenges tonight. I'll, we are 15,000 XP away from Zaha. I don't know if we're going to be able to get 15,000 tonight. Like, that's 1,000, so that brings us to 14. Obviously not getting all these done tonight. So, even then, that's not enough. Yeah, we might not be able to get him tonight. Or get Zaha this weekend. 
Uh, we have seven days left though, so I'm gonna have to really grind to make sure I get as much XP as possible. Because, oh, wow, he sold already. I tried Ederson, he wasn't good, I'll be honest with you. But, so we're really gonna have to grind to get that Zaha. This is the pack from the final Ozeal uh, objective. Uh, we'll see what we get from it. I don't know if we'll get anything major. Oh, uh, no, this is nothing. I'm just gonna skip it right away. It's gonna be untradeable, so hopefully we get some Bundesliga players in it, please. Doesn't look like it. Cool. Uh, we do get a thousand coins though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Not gonna use any of that stuff. Perfect, send that to club. And now we finally have our Scream Ozeal. So this is nice because it's gonna free up some coins, potentially. I say potentially, because he might not be good enough. Like he might not be as good as I need him to be. There he is, come on, get in the club. There we go. I just don't understand these menus to fully. So this is the this is the game plan. We put Ozeal here at left center attacking mid. Then in game he will switch to. There we go. Then in game it'll look like this. Let me get there. And then this is how the team will look in game. So Ericsson's been playing that role, and he's been really good. 168 games played, 106 goals, and 89 assists. He also has 5-star, 4-star. Unfortunately, Ozil is 2-star, 4-star with a left foot. And medium low, whereas Ericsson is high high. So, it's all going to depend on how he compares to Ericsson. If Ericsson is by far and away better, I'm going to keep him on. I'm going to keep Ericsson. Uh, I'm not going to sell him because... Well, what's the point? But I'm definitely gonna try Ozil at least, and I will. In t uh, tomorrow, right after this, should be a player review of Ozil, and I also need to get the player review of Giovinco up. I still haven't even used him, so I just wanted to get this SBC or this challenge done before it left packs. So that's the goal for the week. Uh, this squad is really good. Um, honestly, the defense in midfield is kind of on a lock for now uh it's the right winger left winger and strike well strikers so it's right wing, right right winger and left winger that are really the main issues still so yeah that's all we're gonna see um with that being said thank you all for watching i appreciate the support once again if you like what you're watching please drop a like on the video uh subscribe please it means the world to me uh with that being said i will catch you guys on monday for episode number 15